Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Gotta say, I'm very happy about this new line, Masters of the Universe, Revelation, uh, Skeletor is who I'm going to be reviewing today. Uh, by the way, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to build my channel. Please help me out. Anyhow, uh... On my other videos, I've said enough about how I feel about the show. The animation looks sick. The voice actors are amazing. Uh, from what I've seen from the trailer, I'm already pumped for it. Uh, I'm just hoping it's a good story, that's all. I mean, great characters and good story. Uh, if you grew up on the Filmation show like I did, uh, you know, you have some high expectations because nostalgia, you know... So we're fighting against that, but you know, that, that's what it's marketed as, a continuation of that show, uh, not the 2000X version. So I'm hoping for some good stuff. I loved Castlevania on Netflix. It looked fantastic. It was really well done. It's done by those same animators. I've always been a fan of Kevin Smith. I uh, grew up on Mallrats and Clerks and Chase and Amy and... You know, all of his other, you know, really funny films. Um, you know, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back and, and those uh, other movies. And he's also done a lot of comic book work as well. So I know he could do a very good job. Uh, I just hope he, um, I don't know, I just hope he serves the story. I hope he serves He-Man. Um, so today we have Skeletor. Uh, the ultimate rival of He-Man, uh, he's had multiple backstories, uh, I think at least three, um, in some of the stories he's He-Man's uncle, in some of the stories he's just a mad, like, number two to Hordak, um, uh, in some of the stories he's called Keldor, and, um, he gets burned by acid, and that's how he becomes Skeletor, sort of like Harvey Dent and Batman, Two-Face, so, you know, Skeletor, uh, great actors have voiced him. Uh, I love Frank Langella in the movie. I know people hate the Masters of the Universe movie in the 80s, but I grew up on the movie. I love that movie. And Frank Langella is probably the best thing about that entire movie. He just kills it, man. Just gives, like, zero Fs and just brings it as Skeletor. Uh, Mark Hamill is going to be voicing uh, the new Skeletor. I uh, love Mark Hamill, love Luke Skywalker, love the Joker. My only concern is, is that when Mark Hamill voices a character, like a bad guy, he always seems to default to like a sound that is very similar to uh, the Joker. Uh, so I hope he doesn't do that. Because uh, he really loves to ham it up with, like, the maniacal laughter. But whenever he does that, he sounds like Joker. <laughs> and, like, I just love how weaselly um, and bitchy the old Skeletor sounded in the Filmation cartoon. Uh, and he was always insulting everyone. And he's always like, I'm gonna get you, He-Man, and it's really high like this. <laughs> like that. So I really hope... Uh, he kind of leans into that instead of leaning into his Joker voice. Anyhow, so let's bust this figure open. I've really been pleased with the figure so far. Most of all because the articulation is fantastic. I, I love really articulated figures. Uh, that all started with um, Toy Biz. And uh, their Marvel Legends, the original Marvel Legends line, uh, though some would argue that the original Toy Biz Marvel Legends line was overly articulated. But uh, this is the first, these are the most articulated uh, six inch scale figures, seven inch scale figures that we've ever had. So I'm very excited. So it even boasts on the package uh, 30 points of articulation. So here's the front. There's the Netflix logo. Oh, that's a really nice image on the side there. Uh, they kind of have this Skeletor. Um, like he has like his, his uh, bony skull face has a smile to it. Where uh, the original Skeletor sort of looked neutral. Uh, and just like a talking skeleton. But that artwork looks really good. Uh, also, they're giving him a cape. 
uh, you know, he's had a cape sometimes in the filmation. He just didn't have a cape, but uh, he has a cape this time. Uh, the Ultimate Skeletor, which I have, he does have a cape. Um, so they're just giving uh, Skeletor a cape. It's all gravy. Uh, also, other figures, He-Man, Moss Man. I, did, I was not interested in this Moss Man, uh, especially since he didn't have the traditional like fuzzy felt look to him. It's just all sculpted. Uh, just didn't really care about that figure. Anyhow, uh, you get Skeletor and Evil Lynn. What does it say? Skeletor, evil lord of destruction. For ages, Skeletor ravaged the land and terrorized the people of Eternia in his quest to capture all the power and the universe for himself. Now the nefarious scourge of Eternia plots his final hostile takeover of Castle Grayskull. With dark magic, devious technology, and an army of loyal soldiers at his back, this sinister sorcerer believes this time nothing can stop him. Not even He-Man. So I'm actually, from what I've seen in the trailer, uh, I'm excited what they're going to do with the power sword. And how they're going to divide it into two. I really always liked that concept. And I wish they would have brought that into the show. Um, and they didn't really. They brought it into the 2000X a little bit. If I can remember correctly. Like Skeletor had the proper power sword. And I think Man of Arms crafted. Um, sort of like a tech power sword for He-Man. Um, but Skeletor had, there's like a yin and a yang, a good and a bad side to the power sword. So I think they're going to do that actually on the show where they never did that in filmation. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they never did that. So let's get this guy open. Um, these are also, besides being the most articulated, um, 112 scale figures, uh, there's the bubble, uh, the shell. So it's very easy to take out. You just cut the top piece and you're good to go. Um, yeah, these are the biggest, uh, 112, uh, scale figures I've seen. Um, so I, I, I don't, I kind of like that. I don't like that. It's kind of like the McFarlane toys. And, um, I don't know. I, I just think they're a little bit too big. Uh, I like my figures a little bit on the smaller side, like, uh, a standard five, six inches. And, you know, I like them all. <laughs> I like all my figures to scale with each other, but unfortunately they do not. So let's get a look at him. Uh, he looks very animated. Um, he, his face looks so animated. He looks like, uh, something you get at the Halloween store around Halloween time. Uh, but he's skull. I, I do like the way that he looks. Um, there he is like on profile. If you guys can see that, I, I like how the, the hood like kind of points out. Um, there's his face. Uh, it's sort of a... Man, how would you even explain that? It's sort of like a neon, like if you threw a black light on that, that baby would glow, I bet. I don't have a black light, though. But sort of like a neon, greenish, yellow, very, like, muted. It, it does look bony, like a, a sort of a real bone look. Just the hollow black eyes, the maniacal smile. Um, just, even though it's like an animated look, it looks really good. So, so I'm pleased by that. Another thing I'm very happy about, people didn't like this, but they gave him a cloth cape. I like cloth capes if you're going to give a figure a cape. Um, it just, I, I don't like the plastic capes. I like it when it flows and drapes. I mean, this is a very generic cape. It's just like a straight cut piece of cloth that you know cut out of fabric there's no wires on it or anything but i just prefer cloth capes over um the vinyl or the plastic uh they definitely they they gave some different color patterns in his armor uh different purples shades of purple so that looks really good uh the armor looks very good um there's this traditional sculpt and, and i'll do a comparison uh, there's a quality control issue on mine. They, they smeared a little bit of purple on there, so not a big deal, but uh, he looks great. Uh, there he is from the back. 
you guys can see that and the cape is up there's his chest harness let's see oh wow this um so this has like three pieces or uh it's different than he-man's when it comes off so that's interesting and if you want to take that off so there's oh wow if you look at that there's three pieces to his chest harness and they're all separate so if you do want to take off the cape you can uh that just lifts off you can pop his head off but um i'm not going to do it for you guys you can do it when you get it on your own but that's interesting how they decided to do that um and it just goes on like that but very cool very cool i like that i dig it i dig it mattel um articulation so He's on a ball joint, so he has nice movement. Um, he doesn't go back and forward too high, but because uh, it's on just the standard ball joint, but it's good range of motion there. Um, the articulation is pretty solid on these figures. Uh, shoulders go up this high, and they got the double jointed elbows, which I'm so excited about. Uh, we got the ringe, or ringe, hinge in the wrist. Uh, so that's very awesome. Uh, complete rotation. They they uh, put the figure on with a fisted hand. Granted, he has two weapons that come with him, so you don't really need the fisted hand, in my opinion. But if you like the fisted hand, that's your bag. Uh, great torso articulation. Uh, he crunches down about that far, crunches back that far. Uh, we got full cut in the waist, so we can get the 360. Yeah, so also as I'm noticing on the sculpt here, there's just like splashes of purple all over his sort of uh, skirt kilt thing there. That's what he looks like underneath. Uh, let's see, his leg goes up about that high for the kick. The uh, skirt kind of hinders it there. Um, we got the double jointed knees, which I'm very excited about. Uh, he's stuck there though. There we go. Yeah, so nice, nice bend at the knee, which I always love. Uh, he can do a straddle that far. And what else? We got cut, thigh cut. We also got a boot cut at the gre or the yeah greaves. Um, we got the ankle hinge and he has like some nice gargoyle looking feet that actually painted his toenails. Um, sometimes they do that sometimes they don't. Uh, the ankles feel a little loose and then we got the ankle rocker, but it barely rocks in mine. Uh, rocks on this side pretty good, but it doesn't rock on this. Uh, I guess I just have to move it a little bit. Be careful though, guys. You don't want to snap these. Also, it's got the thigh or the bicep cut. So all the articulation you could possibly want in a He-Man figure. Uh, the Masters of the Universe line is the best ever made in my opinion, and it would be perfect if it had. Um, the right amount of articulation, which it does not. So, we're going to put him back here. And let's get a look at the good old Havoc staff. Uh, this is a really nice looking Havoc staff. Uh, the skull looks very good. Looks like an ugly animal of some sort. Uh, ram. Uh, the ram's horns are painted purple. Uh... We also have a different color, different shades of purple on the, the staff itself. It's a light purple. The eyes are black. There, there is a little bit of a wash on this, so that looks very good. And the horns are purple. Here is Masters of the Universe Ultimate um, Skeletor Havoc Staff. And this is just one solid piece. And it's actually longer than the new one. Uh, the Revelations version, but the Revelations figure, I think, is taller. So that's an interesting choice that they made. Uh, this guy, Revelations, is smaller. Smaller for the taller figure, longer for the shorter figure. Perhaps uh, <laughs> Ultimate Skeletor is trying to make up for something, you know what I'm saying? So anyhow, so here is his Havoc staff, and we will put it in this hand. He did not come with a power sword. 
uh, or a purple power sword, which Skeletor typically comes with. So that is a kind of bummer, but instead, uh, I don't know what this is yet, because I haven't seen the show. Um, it looks like some sort of a magic wand device. Uh, I don't know what it does. So he comes with this thing. Not sure what it is. And he comes with uh, an additional set of hands. Um... Uh, it's, uh, he comes with a pointing hand, like, I'm gonna get you, He-Man, hand, and then he has, like, an open hand, um, which is kind of dumb, I don't know, it's like a waste to me, it's like, I'm just gonna have him hold his weapons, so right now, actually, I'm gonna swap out this fisted hand, that just pops out like so, and it pops in, and that way, he can hold his other weapon, and he can just kind of, like, you know, album cover. Like I'm going to point at you. <laughs> Very nice, but he's covering his face. So there we go. Uh, yeah, so he comes with these two weapons. Does not come with a power sword, which is a little bit disappointing. So, how tall is this guy? So also, these are, these are uh, slender figures compared to the traditional Masters of the Universe mold. Uh... The traditional or the classics mold, they are wide and broad and buff. Where these guys are buff, but they're just a little bit taller and slender. So there he is compared to Ultimate Skeletor uh, from Super 7. And then I also have, which is my personal favorite sculpt ever from the Four Horsemen. Uh, this is 2000X Skeletor. And he is just a beauty of a figure. Uh, the sculpt is phenomenal by the Four Horsemen. Uh, if you guys can see that. Uh, he's a lot smaller though. But just gorgeous sculpt. Uh, the detail, the paint. Uh, the only thing that would make this better is that it had more articulation. I just wish that they... Uh, if they would have articulated these figures, they probably would have been my favorite of all time, and, and that would have been it. Um, case closed. Oop, I bumped my camera out of frame. Sorry. Uh, but anyhow, so that is Skeletor, uh, Masters of the Universe Classics, or Masters of the Universe Revelation, excuse me. Uh, here he is next to Ultimate He-Man. And they're actually just the same height, but He-Man is just broader and bigger. And then here is uh, Revelation He-Man, which is just slender. So yeah, great figures. Very excited for them. Get them while you can so you don't get screwed over on the internet, on eBay, whatever. Um, they're hitting, uh, I think it's Walmart. I've seen them. Walmart and Target. Um, so... Keep an eye out, go on the hunt, get a good price. Uh, God bless you all. Peace.